So if you're organizing large meetings in Microsoft Teams, or if you're a teacher, you probably gone to a position where you want to know who's attending your meeting. So that's why in this video, we're going to look at how you can download attendance reports from a Microsoft Teams meeting. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Harry Loughton. I'm a technology strategist for Microsoft. And the goal here is really to teach you technology and hopefully show you something that's going to help you and your organization. So today's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and dive into Microsoft Teams, look at a meeting and how to download that attendance report. So let's get started. So we're now inside Microsoft Teams. Let's look at how we can download that attendee list. I'm under the calendar and we can see here I have a meeting which is for mandatory Microsoft Teams training. And because it's mandatory, we want to know who actually joined so we can say that they've joined this meeting and they don't have to do it again. So let's go ahead as Harry, I'm the organizer. Let's go join this meeting. And now that we've actually joined this meeting, let's add somebody else in. So I'm going to go over to a browser and I'm going to join Megan here. So in the browser, when we see this, this is Megan and on the actual Teams client, we're using me as the organizer. So as an attendee, let's go ahead and join this meeting. Okay, there we go. So now we've joined that meeting. I'm going to go back as the organizer. So at this point, our training's going and we want to know who actually joined it. So to be able to do that, we need to go to show participants. And of course, right now there's only two participants, so this isn't that useful. But imagine there's a hundred or so participants. It's going to be quite hard to scroll up and down and see who actually joined it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit these three dots, which is the more actions option. And then we're going to do download attendance list. And then from there, you can see these toast notifications. You could click these and it will load the file as well. But just to show you where it's saved and what the file looks like, I'm going to go to File Explorer and then to Download. So I'm on my local computer and then Downloads, and we get this file here, Meeting Attendance List.csv. So let's go ahead and load this file up and see what it looks like. So from here, we can see that we got the full name, you know, who joined, what action, so they joined, and then we can see what time they joined as well, which will be helpful and we'll see why in a bit. Okay, so the first question you might be asking, okay, cool, the organizer can download that list, but how about the attendee? So let's go ahead and go back as Megan. Uh, so we're back on the browser now, and let's go ahead and do the show participants option. And we can see on the top right here, now there's no way for that attendee to download it. So only the organizer can do that. All right, so we know that part. Let's now have a look at what happens. You know, how do you track if somebody left early or rejoined? Well, let's leave as Megan. So let's leave this meeting. And we'll just give it a second and we'll rejoin it. So I'll just go back to the calendar and then do join again and just do join. Okay, so now that we've joined this meeting, let's go back as myself, as the organizer, back to participants, and we're going to download that attendance list again. And that's going to download into our downloads files. And we've got this meeting attendance list number one. So let's go ahead and load that up. OK, so now we can see we've got quite a few more rows. So now we've got you know, multiple things from Megan. So Megan joined. And then about a minute later, she left. And then if, you know, not very long after that, she joined again. So these kind of bits of information are going to be really helpful so you can track that attendance over your meeting. But the next question, the question I see online a lot is, OK, cool, that's great within the meeting. But now if we go ahead and end that meeting, how would I actually go ahead and see who attended that meeting? Well, right now you can't. You know, if I load this up and we look at chat, you know, there's no file that got downloaded. If we go to files, we can't download it afterwards. So right now, after the meeting ends, you can't go ahead and download the attendee list. The good news is that in January 2021, we will be releasing a feature that does allow you to do that. So an enhancement coming after that meeting ends, you'll be able to download that and get this information. That's really all I wanted to show you today was how to easily download the attendee list, see who joined your meetings. And really, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another video.